Welcome back to my channel everyone. This is a highly requested video. I get tons of DMs on Instagram about my equipment that I use during training. So today I'm gonna show you everything I carry in my gym bag or training bag. The first thing I like to do before warming up is to massage my muscles with this rolling stick. It releases any built up tension in the muscles and increases blood flow. I do about 20 strokes per muscle group and I like to hit the quads, the hamstrings, the calves and the tibialis interior. When it comes to music, I generally like to listen to anything that is very upbeat and makes you feel happy. How you feel makes a huge impact on how you train and compete so that's what I like to go with. It's usually EDM, hip hop, and R&B. Wireless headphones are a must when you're training. I can run, jump, and lift effortlessly without having to worry about cords getting in the way of my movements. Once you go wireless, you can't go back. When I'm ready to get into my workout, I put on my track spikes. And for those who aren't familiar with track, there are different spikes for certain events. For example, I do short sprints, so my spikes are extremely lightweight and built for speed. It's got a honeycomb plate across the entire bottom and only has spikes in the forefront. I have spikes that are $100 and ones that are $200, and there is a huge difference between the two. Every step you take matters and every one hundredth of a second matters, so I always go with the higher quality spikes. Training shoes are very new to me, I've been lifting since I was 14 and I never once thought of buying shoes specifically for lifting. So when I decided to take my training seriously, I had to get these babies and man, they are a game changer. Training shoes provide you with more stability and gives you a grounded feel. I've been able to drastically up my numbers in my power cleans, deadlifts, so I highly recommend getting shoes specifically for lifting if you haven't already. Barefoot is good too, but I find it more convenient if you're supersetting with box jumps, lunges, and any other exercises that require you to move a little bit more. Last but not least, I keep this precious photo with me. This is me hurdling in elementary school. I was 12 years old. Chang Chao dominating by one hurdle. This is where everything started and when I fell in love with track and field. Every time I look at this photo, it gives me hope that I'll be able to run faster because looking back, I never thought I'd come this far. So those are my training essentials. If you have any more questions about my equipment, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and put your hands in. Tokyo on three. One, two, three, Tokyo, yo!